Hey you guys, I just wanted to just take a quick uh, few minutes here and just at the beginning of this video or more like 30 seconds, I just wanted to pop in and just say thank you guys. Recently things have been like really just growing on YouTube quite a bit and it's kind of surprising to me. I have said this so many times in so many videos but I really never thought that this channel was gonna get anywhere and I'm just, I'm really starting to believe that we can actually make something out of this. So I just wanted to say that if you guys know me well, if you're watching this, you know me well, you've known that I've always kind of struggled with, you know, what what should I do with myself? And I'm not saying YouTube's that, but you know, I just want you guys to know that your support has given me a lot of confidence that I never had before. So if you've subbed to this channel, whether you've watched one video or you've watched all, however many hundred and some that we have now, just know that, um, you're an encouragement to me every day that I get to realize that, you know, people enjoy what I've put together. And so I just wanted to say thank you for that. You guys are great and I'm really thankful. So enough of this sappy <laughs> We're gonna get into this video, all right? Let's go! This video is going to be just like, I, I'm going in on like these these new player guides people seem to be finding them very helpful and so i want to make them i think that people are just really gaining a lot of information from them which cool i'm happy to help that's what i've made this channel for to begin with so this video is going to be just like what i consider to be like uh, all-inclusive like red star kind of like what's red stars how do they work um what do you need to know what should you expect sort of thing. So that's kind of what this video is gonna be about. So stay, hang out. You might not need to learn anything about Red Stars, but you can have fun and laugh and have a great time because that's what this channel is all about. So let's get in there, okay? Yeah. Okay, so you're sitting here and you're like, all right, what's there to know about Red Stars? They're crazy. They kind of threw the balance of the game off real, real, real bad. Let me tell you that. When Red Stars first came out, I'm gonna give you a brief history. So Red Stars first came out and everybody was losing their minds, and there was like memes going around, and they were just like, oh look, thanks Fox Next for giving us the feature that we never wanted, and that's pretty much what happened, everybody's pretty angry for a while, I was one of those people, I made a video, <laughs> I made a video called, are Red Stars destroying Marvel Strike Force, like two or three videos, like that was just like so dramatic, and I think that they were bad for the game, but I don't know, it's crazy, so it, it still is, crazy i think that red stars were not good and i think that they just kind of make things just like you can't really plan anything but it's kind of fun too when you get a big red star that you want it makes a difference and it just makes it exciting so first thing we're gonna do is look at red stars themselves what do they do you might be saying gold stars red stars what does this mean okay gold stars we're just gonna talk, discuss this real quick use a koya because she's on top of my list so gold stars, you farm them from shards, you get the certain number, you pay credits to promote them. That's another video for a different time. If you guys are interested in that, uh, we're, I'm contemplating the idea of doing a farming guide. It's just kind of hard because I'm not totally sure the right information and I don't want to get flamed if I make something bad or waste time on something bad. So anyways, red stars, okay? Got red stars. They increase your stats. I'm in the way. Okay. So you increase your stats. One red star. 2% stat boost to all stats across the board. Two red star, 5% stat boost across the board. <clears throat> this is so on and so forth. Three red stars, 10%. Four red stars, 20%. Five red stars, 35%. Six red stars, 60%. And seven red stars, 75% total stat boost. Now you might be wondering, hey, if I pull a seven red star, do I get 75% stat boost on a character that's only three gold stars? No, you have to have your character high up enough. They have to have the same gold stars as they have red stars. So if you have a three red star, but only a two gold star character, well, they're just gonna get a two red star boost. So they're only gonna get a 5% stat boost. But then when they go up to three gold star, not only are they gonna get the boost from the three gold stars, it's also gonna get the additional 5%, the extra 5%. So if you already have 5% boost, you'll get an extra five to get a 10. So total of 10%. And so it's like an extra boost. So again, so on and so forth. It's pretty easy if you just look at this. If you wanna see where this is, you can select any character and hit this little eye here for info and it pops up. You can see that right there, check it out. It's pretty cool, it's pretty interesting. 
And it's just, I mean, it's a huge stat boost, so we can even see. So I have one seven red star character, and you can see just, for example, I figure some people may be interested in some stats. This is a maxed out character. This is uh, almost all maxed out, actually. I don't have this because this ability sucks, so I'm not going to waste stuff on it. But tier 13, seven red star, seven gold star, and you see massive health, damage, armor, focus, resistance. And these are just like, these stats are just totally just like uncomparable to other things so it doesn't actually it doesn't change I, I was incorrect when i said not all stats all base stats so health damage armor focus resistance crit damage doesn't change crit chance doesn't change speed doesn't change dodge chance doesn't change block chance block amount or accuracy none of those things change so it's the base stats of these ones right here so those are there and they are the ones that get boosted so these are all 75 percent up so i'm not going to do the math but those are 75% boosted, which is very significant. He deals much damage. So your next question probably is, okay, well, how do I get red stars? Do I get to pick them? Do I get to just whatever? Um, if you know anything about the game, you know that they're completely random right now. They're, well, excuse me, they were completely random when they first came out. There's a bit more of your choosing involved now, and we'll talk about that in a second, but I wanna show you how the, the way you're gonna have to start acquiring them, and we'll go from there. So, you got the red star orb. Well, where do you get red star orbs from? That's from the red star blitz. If you're below level 50, you're not gonna see the red star blitz and I don't even think these orbs are gonna be on your orb menu for you. Maybe they are, I don't know. I don't, these were added when I was already level 70. So what we're looking at here, these red star orbs, you get them from the blitz. That's the only way that you can acquire them other than the login calendar on the seventh day of your login calendar, you get 10,000, which is enough to open five. Again, I don't know exactly how that works. If you're under level 50, maybe you just have a different calendar. I'm not sure at all how it works. If someone wants to comment down below how it works. I know somebody said in the last video that Red Star Blitz just doesn't appear if you're under level 50. So I'm assuming that this stuff is the same. So you can look at this, right? And so when you open it, you get one little thing. There's no side pillars or anything. Just in the middle, you get one Red Star promotion. So you can look at the different things, okay? So two red star has the highest percentage, 46% chance to get that. And if you remember, that was a, I actually don't remember, was that 2%? You think I remember that. But anyways, you can check it out. So it's like however much, and then the one, and then three, four, the percentages obviously get very low as you see, but, so this is a half a percent chance, which is crazy. It's like one in or it's like i don't know whatever i don't i'm not gonna do the math here because i'll just embarrass myself and get it wrong but so point, a half of percent of a chance to get that so it's like one in every i think couple thousand or something somebody's done the math before or something like that and so basically with that i mean it's, it's very rare but as you saw it boosts the stats so much it's just if you had a million of these like you would be destroying people if someone somehow managed to have a full seven red star like meta team, no one would be able to beat them because they would just be so strong. That's part of the reason why, fun fact, that's why Ultron doesn't have any red stars right now because he's so strong. If he had red stars, he would just be out of this world. He would just be too good. He could probably solo most meta teams. It's kind of crazy, but pretty cool. I like that they like recognize that and chose to do that and handle that that way. So that's how you open these orbs. Again, like I said, two ways of acquiring these are from the login calendar, which I will show you log in calendar and so that's from the seven day i just got mine this morning opened them so ten thousand, which is equivalent to five orbs because it costs two thousand each so that's right here every seven days then you can also get them from the red star blitz which i don't think is in here anymore it's not there's a red star blitz every sunday that starts at 8 p.m. Eastern time. I'm not sure what everybody else's time is, but that's what, I mean, it, it all starts at the same time, but Eastern time is 8 p.m., so that's Sunday. And then that runs for 24 hours as opposed to the other blitzes that run for three days. That one runs for only 24 hours. It's less points to complete milestones, but less time. Essentially, the way that all of this works is you come in, you open it, and it just gives you a random character. And that's what it is. So you might be wondering, okay, well, is there duplicates or your roster will fill up pretty fast if there's no duplicates, right? No, there's definitely duplicates. So when you got duplicates before, all you would get was just more of this currency back. It was horrible, dude. It was like change, like chump change compared to like how much you would spend on the orb. It was just terrible. It like so many people were so angry. Now when you get dupes, you get uh, different currencies. So depending on the different dupes, you get different currencies. So you get elite four credits 
for regular ones. Eventually, you with the 5,000 Elite Four credits, you get a guaranteed four Red Star character, but it's gonna be random. We'll talk a bit more about that when we get to the shop because that's a pretty crazy dynamic. So, but when you get dupes, you get currency. There's different kinds of currencies, and we'll talk about that as well in just a second. So I'm sure you've seen this section of the store. Well, if you're not level 50, you won't have seen this. So some of you guys watching this may have never seen this before. So this store is essentially, it had it refreshes just like the other ones, and you can also refresh it for power course, but it has just random red star promotions that come through. You might be saying, well, what is this currency? You have some, but you know, what is it? So essentially what it is, is that you can take the promotion credits that you get from duplicates, and you can trade it in here. So I could take a thousand of the four, which is what you get from regular duplicates four star and below when you get a duplicate of five star or above you get a different currency we'll talk about that shortly you, this is for four star and below on duplicates you get this currency and you can either like i said save it to five thousand you get a guaranteed four star or you can take it and you are able to do this and that would give me one more so i have 22 right now just for some random stuff they were on the calendar uh recently for something and you can save them up, right? So then you can save them up, you can get whatever character you want. So if you don't have a lot, say this is a character that you want. I don't know, I don't know why you would want this, but say this is something you want. Well, you could save up, or if you have it, you can just buy it, you buy it, it immediately goes on, you don't have to pay anything to put it on, it just goes right on. That's how that works. So then down here, you have something else, Elite Five Red Star. So that's another currency, that's if you get duplicate fives. What happens is you're able to just, you can save, and then if you get to 5,000, which would take forever, because I'm at 1,500, but if you get to 5,000, you can get a guaranteed five red star warp. So no matter what you pull, it's going to be at least five red star. But it doesn't mean you're not going to get a minion. You're not going to get something bad. Same with the guaranteed four star. You could get a minion. It's kind of risky to do it. Last time I pulled this one, I got uh, shield security, uh, four red star shield security, which is not bad. I was actually very happy about that. Shield security is very strong if you guys are not familiar when you pair them with Nick Fury. I almost said Nicholas Furious because that's what I call him on my stream for... For giggles, hee <laughs> hee. But so, same same concept here. So I have 1,500 of this currency. I could trade in and I could get five of this. I could do that if there's like someone who I specifically want one for. So the way it works here, I'm not exactly sure how it works with the Elite Four Star, but with the Elite Five Star, and I'm pretty sure the rest of them above, I've never thought about it. I've never gotten a duplicate six or seven. But the way that it works here, Say for example, I'm at 5,000 Elite 5 Red Star, and I'm just like, man, like I just want a specific character. I'm set on getting a specific character. I don't wanna risk it. So you could take these credits and say you have 5,000. If you trade them all in, that will give you enough. That will give you 50, 50 of these. And that means that you could buy any four red star that you want. You trade in one random five star for one guaranteed four star. If there's a specific character, maybe a legendary, maybe your favorite character, maybe a team you're trying to work on, you can get one specific for that. So you downgrade one star, but you get to pick who it is. So it's less risk, but less reward. You know what I mean? It's similar to the way that these work too, except these have totally different currencies. You can only get like this, like you can only get this from duplicate sevens. You can't get it from anything else. And so like, it's just crazy. I don't even know how much you get for each of these. I don't know, it's it's like crazy. So like you can use this and that can, this is the same as the previous one. So if you get enough for one of these, it will give you enough to be able to trade towards whatever five star of your choice. I would probably just honestly do this, but I don't know. It's kind of hard to say, same with this six, uh, but this is totally different. I don't know, I think I would probably take a guaranteed seven over a. I don't know, if you could choose a six, that'd probably be pretty good. Another way that this store works, so you have to, if you notice like three, four, four, five, five, five. So the way that this works is that it, so like I have Gamora at two red stars, so I can buy a three red star promotion. I have Doctor Strange at three red stars, so I can buy a four star promotion. Same, so on and so forth. So that's something that's interesting about this as well. Overall, a lot of this stuff is kind of confusing and I would have to say that, I mean, I've never interacted with the seven and the six part before i've never interacted with that before now if you're a whale and you're spending a lot of money you probably have but maybe not i don't know like getting a seven red star is so small it's a half of a percent chance and then also beyond that there's a hundred and however many characters in this game right now so the fact that you would get such a small percent chance to then even pull the other one this the odds of that happening are absolutely insane but that's why the reward's so high if you do i mean it's not super amazing but 
it's not bad either. So it's not the worst where it used to just be just like, oh, sorry, you can pull another regular red star orb, which was a nightmare. So that is pretty much everything that I want you guys to know about red stars. I think that that pretty much covers it. I think that that really, I don't know. I think that covers it. If there's further questions, I would love to hear those in the comments below. If you think there's anything I missed, if you would like a part two of this uh, with specific questions, I'd be happy to make it. But I think that pretty much well covers everything that I think you need to know for Red Stars. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Uh, things are kind of blowing up a little bit recently, at least compared to what they were before. And that's really exciting. So thank you guys for the support. I am so thankful for you. And uh, yeah, get along, uh, get along for the ride because it's going crazy. So yeah, that's it. Follow me on Twitch if you like good times, good times, good times.